My name is. My name. <laughs> like I wanted to sound epic. My. My name. <laughs> all right, just freaking start it, and I'll do one. My name is Ryan Long, and my entire life, all I've ever wanted was to be a reality TV star. Reality. But after being rejected from every single show on the air, uh, I created my own reality show television. to be judged by a panel of really qualified experts. Is this guy for real? Shut up. So will I complete the challenge and win the prize, or will I fail and face the punishment? Your challenge for this week is to make women's lives better. <laughs> What? I don't want to do that. This week's panel. Obviously a controversial subject, you know. Women. Being a reality TV star, I've slept with most of them. Remember when you picked up that redhead from Arby's? But the story I was most famous for was when I railed three girls in the bathroom at Arby's. Tell them one of your stories about picking up girls at Arby's? But to find out what would make their lives better, I decided to become one. After I do the snip, could you put the balls into the boobs? Yeah, they wouldn't know that. Have you ever had a patient come in and they're like, I'm gonna get the boobs and get the peen cut off, and then they drop their pants like, yo, you can't cut that hog off, no way. Before they get to this stage, they're already on estrogens and hormones. So it's gonna shrink the, shrink the hardware. So if it shrunk mine down to like six or whatever, then I'd be like, whatever, snip yeah. it. What if I just went to like a moil? Well, yeah, it'd probably get, you know, a couple millimeters off anyways. So that's, you know, that's not even making a dent. No, well, yeah. They don't charge by the inch, do they? But Dr. Middleton seemed to think that I should keep my rod for the ladies. Let's get rid of your hardware. What are you gonna do to these girls when you get them home? I was at Arby's just the other day, and I brought a girl Don't home. Don't you think you'd have much better odds getting picked up by a guy? Why would I want to do that? I'm not Well, why would gay. you want to be made into a woman? To you make should... women's lives better. Well, no, you're not gay. Get, think that, transgender is, is they do feel that they're women, and not just... Right, but they're, they're not. not just, no. Well, they're sure they are. But DNA they have wise. a peen. Well, then what if you want to go the opposite way? What about the woman that wants to be made into a man, and she makes a peen? What is she? Gross. <laughs> but Dr. Middleton was right. Hey guys, how you doing? So I contacted a drag queen to make me into a chick with a dick instead. My sister from a different mister, Rihanna Longstein. And the next step was to tape my wiener back so it couldn't be seen. I'm not tucking your dick for you. There's no way. Well, you can do it yourself. What? There's a bathroom right there. So I hit the bathroom with 10 rolls of tape. Doing it wrong. I need more tape. <laughs> Girl power. power! And now that I was a woman, I could finally figure out what the heck would make their lives better and also shred some pain. But then I noticed the sexism. It appeared that now that I was a woman, no one seemed interested in hearing the legendary story of me tuning six girls up in the Arby's washroom. And the other thing is they wanted me to pay for the Arby's in the morning, and I was like, there's like an hour left in that story, so I don't know where you're. Why do a loop in the car hoping that the girls will leave in the morning? I'm like fully, all right, okay. It's not a believable story. Well, I had three girls at my house at once. What's not believable about it? that I met at Arby's. And even Max and Jarek didn't want to hear about the seven girls in the washroom. If Ryan was here, he'd have you in the Arby's bathroom so quick, it would make your head spin. I have to go. I'm the host of a TV show and I have to deal with riffraff like this. You're not supposed to talk to girls in the office until Ryan's had his taste. So I reached out to this feminist author to find out what the heck was going on. There is a double standard between men and women. Women would Being be a reality women. celebrity, I'm sure you can imagine, like it pours in with me pretty good. Why would you brag about it? What's the point? Well, everyone's begging me for the story afterwards, generally. You feel like people like you more, your friends. They do, it's, that's a fact. What was the relationship? But no, one, like wants, no one wanted to hear about that stuff. It, it... So sh you're basically saying I should retire the Arby story. That would be wonderful. I've had a lot of good times telling that story. Hmm. I'm just gonna think about them right now for a second.
And as I reminisced, the feminist told me there was an author who made a whole career out of his stories of slamming chicks. I think you could look at Tucker Max. I actually have his book here. And this is making women's lives worse. Anything that makes women an object is. And so if Tucker Max's chauvinistic stories were making women's lives worse, I would get them banned from bookstores. When you sat down with the feminist, what did you think? She basically told me, this is what you can do to make women's lives better. I did it. Really? Pretty open and shut case, if you ask me. I have to say that being a woman and motivational speaking and right. having the awards for women and everything, I do We don't have to brag, but... Did he just cut me off? I Please so. tell me he didn't cut me off. I think so. Why did you, uh, what, what made I don't make the challenges, I just complete them. Not I just so. want to say that, Andrea, as my teacher in elementary school, if uh, you give me a fail, that would probably reflect on yourself as a poor teacher. Did he just tell you what to say? So on the direct orders of the feminist author, I headed to the world's biggest bookstore to get Tucker Max's chauvinist book off the shelf. What do you have the Tucker Max? I hope they serve beer now. Upstairs? We're getting it out banned from the store, so I'm gonna go. You guys get authorization from a store manager? It's for no, it's for women though, so it's okay. Yeah, it's a good no, thing. It's not. No, you, you guys, guys gotta go. Video. I need you guys to leave. But unfortunately, okay. the security guards go. hated hey. women, and I also found it weird that the bookstore had security guards. Okay, all right, the chauvinistic bookstore. So I found one that didn't. What we're doing is we want to get uh, the Tucker Max uh, chauvinist literature banned from stores. We read it and said, no way. So if you show me where it is, I can rip it up and stuff. Okay. And just like that, she agreed to take the book off the shelves. But I don't think you'd want that to the I don't, but I don't, no. We're gonna go. <laughs> no. Isn't that John? the We, she's. It looked like I was gonna have to pull the plug on the operation. Can I put that back there? No. No, you can take it to the cash and buy it. And if you bought it and went out onto the street, you could probably impact more people than... Well, I don't wanna buy it, that's the whole point. If you wanted to make a point, you should be doing it with your own um, stuff. How old are you? 27. 27. Do you not know anything about ethics? No. 27. I just wanted to make women's lives better. You should be ashamed of yourself because this is a silly way to protest. 27, come on. The plan was falling apart. What's your name? Brian. Brian. I'm Lorna. Brian Fong. You're not going to make women's lives better. Oh, That's not true. You, you don't know everything. Okay. I know a lot more than you do. Well, you don't know every single thing in the world experience. like you think. No. And even though I paid for the book, Lorna continued to bully me. Pull your pants up. I can't stand this look. This is worse than Tucker Max, is this look. Okay, uh, Pull good to meet you, up. Lorna. But Lorna was right. One copy of the book was not enough to make a difference. So I headed across town to the other Indigo Books where I could return the copy she'd forced me to buy. Can I return that for store credit? Uh, not like that. Oh, I, no, I have the rest of the pages. Certainly not like that. I have, that's, that's the thing, I bought it like that though, right? So um, I bought it from the other Indigo, you can call them. The other Indigo sold me this book like this, ripped up. Lorna sold it to me like that. I just got an email from that store saying that you were being very disruptive in your store, so you know what, I'm going to just ask you. Did she, did Lorna mention how she sold it to me like this? No, and I'm not returning the book. It's come back in pieces. And so I left Indigo Books and hit the streets to get Tucker Max books banned the proper way. Petition, get Tucker Max banned from uh, bookstores. It's for women's rights, so it's, you know, we're doing you the favor, really. And once I had 300 Siggies, I brought it to Ben McNally at Ben McNally Books. We had like about 300 broads sign this petition. This yeah, stuff. see, I have problems with banning books of any kind. I think banning books, that's a bad idea. What if a guy comes in with like three girls and he's like, you know, I'm a friggin' pimp and girls should work in the kitchen and like, I want my Bible, Tucker Max. And then like, you, you, would you sell him his Bible so he could go treat these girls worse? I wouldn't say to them, you know, I'm not gonna order that book because I disagree with it. Is, there's gotta be a line where it's like too much. If it's like 15 ways to beat your wife, you're gonna carry that? No, I'm not gonna carry it, but, but if, if some guy says I'm gonna it, order 15 ways to beat my wife, you're gonna be like, right away, I'll get it for you, make absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Then you're an accomplice. Yeah, but I'm, of course I'm an accomplice. Are you gonna sell like a book that says like how to rape a kid? I, don't, I think I think you're taking this way more seriously than it deserves. It to is be a taken. serious issue. But then I found out the real reason he didn't want to ban the book. Have you ever been in a frat? Yes. 
You were in a frat? I was. Do you still do all the things like the tag teaming girls and all that stuff? I was in a frat in high school, man. It was an all-boys school. Trying to get a frat boy to ban his Bible was an uphill battle, so I found a better candidate, a gay and lesbian bookstore, Glad Day Books. Um, here we have our uh, feminism and women's studies section. Perfect. Uh, I try not to ever think of Tucker Max. Yeah, well, we were at a different place earlier, and the guy was in, like, a frat, and he wouldn't let us ban it. And he was like, I'm gonna sell it till the day I die and all this. Right. And it's like all he kind of wanted to talk about was his frat and like getting crunked and doing right. keg stands right. and stuff like that. It's a good, um, maybe a how to be a complete jerk. He and... had a ponytail and everything. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. And so Michael agreed to never sell any books written by Tucker Max. <laughs> to make a women's lives better. That is vibrant. Is this a 98? You know what, that would make sense because that was a wonderful year mm -hmm. for grapes in the Niagara region. It was a victory for me and for women. Where's the cork? Oh, yeah, we should cork that back up. Probably cork that back up, yeah. But unfortunately, the good times didn't last because ever since Glad Day Books banned Tucker Max, the place had been a ghost town. Glad Day Books right there, it's uh, no chauvinist literature if you want to check it out. No, all the killer, no filler if you want to. Glad Day Books, no chauvinistic literature, so. But I had a hunch that the problem was that I'd got Tucker Max banned without offering a substitute. So I reached out to feminist author Aya something. I've been writing since I was little. To see if her book was exciting enough to replace Tucker Max. Yeah, so it's called Pretty Bones. So it's a young adult novel about a teenage girl named Rain. Would men read it? They could. That meant no. So I hoped she was down to make a few tweaks. Would you soup it up a little bit, like have a version for men sort of thing? No. Maybe like every five pages or whatever, like just a picture of like a hot, fit girl. I feel like that would defeat the- Put a knocker in every five pages when they start nodding off. I don't know. <laughs> would you ever put like a, just like a flashy title in there? To check people? Like, yeah, your word's not mine. Call it like a dong a day, keeps the doctor away or something. <laughs> I don't think so. 15 hoes, one guy to blow. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> well, there's like a sexy girl over there. Yo! What's up? Tell you the truth, that kind of made me hungry. And I had to put the interview on hold because a sexy girl is my Pavlovian trigger for an Arby's sandwich. One bite? Okay. Vegetarian? No. It's got like this cheese sauce. It's like almost cheese, but it's not. The producer picked these up yesterday. I haven't got around to it. I girl was fit. Right now. Um. So if there's anything else that you think that men can do that make women's lives better? Just try to understand. Is that a girl coming back? <laughs> Sorry, what? Could men, what men do to make women's lives better? Um, I don't know, stop being chauvinistic. <laughs> There was no way that book was going to be able to replace Tucker Max, so I decided to personally bring customers to the store by offering them a free book on me. You want to come and get a free book? And I'm going to pay for the book. Okay. Want to come? I would love to. And my hope was that once the gay and lesbo community found out that Tucker Max wasn't the only option, it would create a buzz. Whatever book you want on me. Something on the uh, Toronto bathhouse raids might be interesting. Did you ever go to the Toronto bathhouse? Yes. How was it? Um, great fun. Nice. Yeah, why not? I wish they had one of those for like with women. Be sick. But what I hadn't predicted is that Sean wanted to buy the most expensive book in the store. If we're if we're working on a budget, I no, 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 I'm not. Whatever you need, man. The if that's the one you want, that's the one you want. Don't let me. I'm just. Pointing, I'm just pointing out other options, but you got the ten by ten hundred portraits. Okay. This is uh, this is good photography. Thirty percent off of uh, dual attraction, understanding bisexuality. The ethical slut. It's an option. Sixteen. This is good too, though. Whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Lots of great pictures. Local celebrities. What the heck? Never tell your mother 
this dream for three ninety five. Okay. It's your choice, though, man. It's your yeah. book. Don't yeah. let us. Don't let me tell you what to do. It doesn't have to be a book. Could be a DVD. Yossi's going for. Seven ninety-five, so that's an option. I don't even know how much this one is. Hey, no, hey, don't. Money's not an issue, so don't even bring it up. Don't be silly. Nine ninety-five for a lark in the morning. And I wasn't sure I had enough money on my prepaid Mastercard for Sean's expensive tastes. It's a prepaid credit card. Okay. It was not approved. Really? Let me try one more time. Probably go through this time. Yes. Good. You went through there? No. Sorry. Okay. Maybe try this one. But I already knew that card was empty because Lorna had forced me to drain it on Tucker Max books. So that one should be good. It didn't go through. What did it say? I don't know if it's because it's the gift card. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, credit card. Uh, do you take uh, scene? And eventually, one of the guys on the crew had to pay for the book. But now I was out of money, and one book wasn't gonna create enough buzz to keep the store in business. Well, I just got back from Arby's, and guess what I got with my burger, Ryan? Nothing, because I'm not you. I miss the stories. I miss you. Yeah, did I used to go to Arby's and lay pipe? Guilty. Did I like bragging to my friends about it afterwards? Hell yeah, I did. Did it take every ounce of strength in my body to not tell that feminist author one of the greatest stories of all time? Yeah, she would have loved it. But those days are done, Max. It's over. I think the real issue at hand here is that Ryan just put a bookstore to business. Well, if you're gonna stop telling the story, I'm just gonna cut my ears off, because I've got no use for him, right? But as Max started cutting his ears oh. off, I realized something. Out through the lobe. Oh, there's so much cartilage, though. What if there was a solution where I could bring my story about the 11 girls in the Arby's washroom out of retirement and still make women's lives better? Oh, my God. I thought it would be a clean cut. Rihanna Longstar. Hey, Max. Uh, yeah? Do you still remember how to type? <laughs> I'd be a bit rusty, but I'm willing to try. The plan was simple, to replace Tucker Max with an anthology of every single girl that I ever tuned up in the Arby's washroom and allow Glad Day Books to use my six stories to bring customers back to the store. Oh, and I'd release them as lesbian author Ryan Longstein, so it totally wouldn't be chauvinistic. Okay, read that last part back to me. Okay, then you said, it won't be enough money for a cab, but the bus comes frequently, just like me. Print it. And because I wasn't in this for financial gain, I gave the stories to Glad Day Books for free. You guys can take all the profits. I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay. And once word got out about my book, Glad Day Books had more customers than they knew what to do with. And I'd still had the most chauvinistic book of all time banned from the bookstore. So I had definitely made women's lives better. So Ryan got Tucker Max banned from Glad Day Books. But was that enough to impress the panel? This week's expert panel consisted of a man, a woman, and my grade six teacher. All right, we can now bring in the contestant. Who would decide whether or not I won that chill spa gift certificate. Over the break, you've each watched a one minute video of Ryan's performance. Starting with you, Anna, what did you think? What makes you think you have the authority to speak on something concerning women? I mean. I'm not the one who made up the challenge. I was just the one who completed it. So you're just, I'm not really sure. You know, you're you're kind of you're kind of a bit sharp. So maybe you'll take your time and listen to my questions. Do you yes. have any sisters? I don't have any sisters. No, I've had a, I've had a lot of lovers. Though. But he has had a mom. He's had a lot of lovers. Do you have a girlfriend? I do not. No. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll we'll go on to the next person. You're looking for to fill the spot. Don't worry about that. Let me do mine and do you do you. Well, it just seems like you're asking me if I have a girlfriend. I mean, it just seems like there's maybe a reason for that question. Like I said, you do you and let me do me. I'm the judge, so don't, don't test me. Well, I'm not sure how what you did is actually gonna make my life better. This is just one step 
in that whole change process. I got the most chauvinist book in the world banned from the store, so. From only one store. I mean, he raised awareness. I mean, it is a start, you, did you know. Raise awareness, you did raise yeah. awareness. I'm not sure how much effect the t trying to get the book off the market with that particular bookstore uh, is going to have. Uh, what but, do you mean? well, from what I understood, that uh, particular bookstore was uh, already a little bit biased toward your opinion. I'm just wondering. How so? I'm not sure that they're a, a very impartial. Well, if it was like a you know racist, sexist bookstore, they probably wouldn't have done it. So obviously, I'm going to find one that. Does. It's a good start. I think you know, you, now you can get some other. Try to get other bookstores on on board. Get it going. Yeah, I definitely got it started. So if you want to jump in and take it over, that'd be my guess. Yeah. Take it over. Yeah, He's yeah, asking yeah, you yeah, to yeah. continue. Ryan, any final words? I mean, I did more in one episode than most women's studies majors do in their entire academic career. So mm. just keep that in mind. On the count of three, you will all hold up either a pass or a fail, determining Ryan's fate. One. Two. Three. Woo! Thank you, Anna. You need to calm down. It felt good to make women's lives better. And now it was time for me to hit the spa. It's a good start. So, I mean, it's, it's surely not enough to fix mm, this. This mm, is no. a small, little, no. little, little dent. Is Something. it going to impact my life? Probably not. No. Probably not. Might it impact my daughter's? Maybe. You never know. Maybe. He's good looking enough Maybe. for it to impact your daughter's lives. <laughs> oh, I, I was a teacher. He's not going near my daughter. Right. <laughs>